gente de Fandango Cine, tenemos en casa a Rob Cordry. Hola, Rob. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Hola, let me have some. Um... Esto es cafecito con Rob Cordry. I call it TV juice. TV juice, let's do it. Oh, that's the stuff. How do you like your cafecito? Oh, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Sí, 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 sí. <laughs> Ready for another dip? I think this time maybe I'll invent yoga pants. Yeah! How far back do we go? 2025. The future. Oh my God, you're Nick Weber, man. Let's take a picture. We need to talk about your new film, Hot Tub Time Machine 2. And it, it's interesting because you're back in the hot tub, but this, that sounds weird, by the way. You're back in the hot tub. Back in the hot tub. Do you Doesn't like sound being back weird in to the, me. No, you're used to it, oh, right? Oh, it sounds nice. <laughs> okay. Were you surprised by the success that the first one had? Or, or what, did you know while you were filming it, oh, this is gonna work? Well, surprised probably isn't the right word because it wasn't, it wasn't an immediate success, you know? It came out at the perfect time and when, when people were starting to get their movies in a different way. And so the, the, the opening, you know, opening weekend was okay. Mm -hmm. It was fine, they were happy. But it really, over the years, climbed. People found it later on, you know, talking about it on social media and, and, um, and on the internet. And so that's, that's where, it, so it was more like a very gradual surprise. Do you still have to audition for roles? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Um, yeah, it, it's. I don't. I like auditioning to tell you the truth because mm -hmm. I think I'm fairly good. That's the thing you really have to be good at as an mm -hmm. actor. You can be the worst actor in the world, but you got to be a good auditioner. And I think I'm pretty good at it, so I like getting in there and improving myself. But I also don't mind just getting a role. That's, right. I'll take it. <laughs> We do need to ask about the whole time traveling things. If you could go back in time or go in the future, what, where would you want to go in real life? Um. There's so many, uh, pla I think, honestly, I mean, I wish I had a joke answer for this question, you know, uh, but there's just too many time periods to choose from. I am, so honestly, I'm obsessed with mid-70s, 1975 to 77 New York City. Huh. Because it was the apocalypse, <laughs> you know? It was the, cra like, it was a Ford to City drop dead. Right. Uh, they had the, the Bronx burned down. The Yankees were like, Reggie Jackson just arrived. There was punk rock and disco were happening at the same time. Studio 54, free love. Like it just seemed like a time I would have liked to have seen. I oh. drove through it once in 1975. <laughs> my, my father said, what do you think, Bobby? What do you, what do you think of New York City? And I went, dirty, dirty. <laughs> That's when it all started? That's when it all started. <laughs>